This four-cylinder aluminum block power plant is a high revving platform that also delivers a deeper exhaust note than what is usually associated with the brand. To get the most from the motor, a close ratio six-speed manual gearbox proved itself easy to work with in more than a week of urban driving. Its only shortcoming is the lack of a hill holder feature. A five-speed automatic with paddle shifters is available, which manages to squeeze an extra mile or two from a gallon of fuel. At a curb weight of 3,400 pounds, the sedan proved to be surprisingly responsive and nimble. So to make this different, Acura chose to emphasize appearance with restyled front and rear bumper treatments. The interior appears to be a standard TSX layout until you take a closer look. With the manual, for example, polished aluminum pedals and footrests provide a racing-inspired feel. The seating and headliners are also a step away from the usual Acura approach. Seats were a combination of suede-like inserts with leather trim. While not the top of the line Recaros, the surfaces keep a driver and passenger planted during hard turns. What Acura missed with the special edition was the chance to do other cosmetic changes, like blind spot detecting mirrors and a competition-influenced rear spoiler. And if there's going to be a wish list for the car, then add in upgraded brakes and a serious reconfiguration of the suspension that would be at home on a track. You know, just saying. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.